Hi, writers. Um, Boys and girls, next weekend, we are going to be celebrating a super fun, kind of important holiday. We're all going to be celebrating Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful for all the different things that you have and things around you and things that you appreciate. Um, I spent some time this morning thinking about all the things that I'm thankful for, and I decided to make a list of them. So I made a thankful list, and I wrote down all the things that I'm thankful for because today we're going to be writing things that we're thankful for in a thankful opinion story. So boys and girls, these are the things that I came up with. I'm thankful for toys. I'm thankful for friends. I'm thankful for animals. Not only my dog, Addie, but all of the animals in the world. I'm thankful for stores like Target and Giant Eagle, places I can go shopping and buy things I need. I'm thankful for pets. I'm thankful for the books. I love reading. I can learn so much for the books. So I'm thankful for all the books that we have in our classroom and books that we have at home and books that we have in the library. I'm thankful for nature. Boys and girls, I look outside every day and I'm so thankful we have a beautiful sun and all the trees and the grass and we have all the different seasons that we change into. I'm super thankful for my family. I have lots of uh, kids that I'm thankful for and my, my sisters and my mom and dad and grandparents, my aunts and uncles, and I'm thankful for food. We're lucky, boys and girls, that we have plenty of food to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So as you can see, I have plenty of things that I'm thankful for. So I want you to spend some time today thinking about the things that you're thankful for, and then I want you to pick just one, one that you're really thankful for. And the first thing that came to my mind was my family. I'm thankful for my family. So that's what I'm going to write about today. Um, boys and girls, we're going to get out our opinion writing owl books for quarter two. And you're going to turn, it's kind of in the middle of your book. And we're going to write about being thankful on Thanksgiving. Boys and girls, the first line says, this Thanksgiving, I am most thankful for family. And that's what I picked. You might pick toys. You might pick books. You might pick something else that was totally different than something on my list. So I picked family. And just like we've been doing, when you're writing your opinion, you're trying to persuade others. These are the three reasons that I'm thankful for my family. Reason number one, all of my kids will be home from Columbus. Boys and girls, my older kids have one, one already graduated school and he lives in Columbus and the other two go to Ohio State. So they don't live with me anymore, but they'll all be home for Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving dinner and for the whole weekend. So that's one reason I'm thankful for my family because my kids will all be home. Reason number two I'm thankful for family is that we will all have a wonderful dinner at my sister's house. My parents will be there, my sisters, all the cousins. So I'm thankful that my whole family will be together for a nice dinner on Thanksgiving. And the last reason I'm thankful for my family is that the day after Thanksgiving, we all go in my dad's RV together and we go and we cut down our tree. And that's a family tradition for us. So that's why I'm thankful for my family on Thanksgiving. Boys and girls, I went ahead and I wrote our closing sentence down here. And my closing sentence is how you're going to end your story. This kind of sums it all up again. It says, my family is the reason I am thankful on Thanksgiving, okay? So boys and girls, we're going to do a lot of writing work today. You're going to sit down today and you're going to pick one thing you're thankful for. And then you're going to give me the three reasons why you're thankful. Now, remember, boys and girls, these don't have to be full sentences. These can just be little smidgens, little ideas. My, I could have just wrote, my kids will be home from Columbus. My whole family eats together. Okay, these aren't full sentences. They're just your thoughts and ideas. There are three reasons. Once you've written those and your closing sentence, we're going to go ahead and write your story as well today because Thanksgiving's next week. I want you to go ahead and finish this story for me. So again, boys and girls, when you write your close or when you write your story, you start with your topic sentence, topic sentence which is up here, and then you turn each one of your reasons into a sentence, and then you write your closing sentence. So your stories today should have a minimum of at least five sentences.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read you my story. I started off with my topic sentence right here. This Thanksgiving, I am most thankful for family. Boys and girls, it's kind of easy. You almost just copy the whole sentence. I, it's already done for you on this page. This Thanksgiving, I am most thankful for family. That's how I started mine off. This Thanksgiving, I am most thankful for my family. Reason number one, I am thankful for, I am thankful for them because all of my kids will be home from Columbus on Thanksgiving. Reason number two, I am also thankful for my whole family because we will all have a nice family dinner at my sister Shelly's house. Reason number three, lastly, I am thankful because my whole family will spend the day after Thanksgiving together. We will go in my dad's RV and we will all chop down our Christmas trees. And then boys and girls, I end it with my closing sentence. Here's my closing sentence again. My family is the reason I am thankful on Thanksgiving. That's my closing sentence. That's what I ended my story with. My family is the reason I am thankful on Thanksgiving. So boys and girls, five good sentences. Topic sentence, opening sentence. Reason number one is a sentence. Reason number two is a sentence. Reason number three is a sentence. And then closing sentence is a sentence. What I want you to also look at today is go to the back of your book, and I have an opinion checklist for you there. I put a couple of them in there so you can go ahead and just pick one. And I want you to look at your checklist to make sure it has everything that your story needs. Opinion. Did you start your story with your opinion sentence? I am thankful for my family on Thanksgiving. I did. So I can check my opinion box. Reasons. Did I write three reasons? I put everybody will be home from Columbus. We're all going to have a family dinner at my sister's house. We're all going to go chopping the tree down in my dad's RV. So yes, I did do three sentences, three reasons. Closure. Did I close my sentence up? This is the reason. My family is the reason I am thankful on Thanksgiving. So I did do a closing sentence. And then boys and girls, I want you to go back in your stories and I want you to make sure that you have capital letters. I want you to look, did you stretch out all your words that we learned about in the beginning of the year? Stretch them out, tap them out, listen to all the sounds. I want you to make sure your sentences have punctuation. Do they have periods at the end? Did you change your voice and use an exclamation mark? If you asked a question, it should end in a question mark. And then lastly, I want you to look at these. It says, my goal for writing is to write five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sentences. Maybe you want to make that your goal. Check that off if you did it. Using spaces. Some of us have to work on using spaces. So if that was a goal of yours and you accomplished it, check it off. Writing neater. Using capital letters and punctuation and stretching words out. Boys and girls, if you did all of those, you can check off all of them. Writers, when you're done with your thankful stories, if you're um, remote, I want you to take a picture of it or read it to your teacher and send it to her on Seesaw. And if you're in person, the teachers will be walking around helping you with all of your um, writing today. Boys and girls, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I can't wait to read your thankful stories. We have so many things to be thankful for. We're very uh, lucky people. Okay. Looking forward to seeing all of your thankful stories.